Canada, and the role of the nurse practitioner varies greatly from province to province. They're healthcare professionals with a reserved title and a distinct scope of practice. They're found in a variety of settings, providing comprehensive health assessment, diagnosis and treatment, and managing acute and chronic illness within a holistic model of care. Their origins in Canada dates back to the work of nurses who decades ago provided care that was otherwise unavailable in rural and remote areas, practicing in nursing stations in the north of the country. In the 1970s, interest increased in the role with the funding for nurse practitioner university programs. By the mid-1990s, public demand for increased access to primary care resulted in renewed interest in the nurse practitioner role. In Ontario, there are several nurse practitioner-led clinics. They employ medical doctors, but the nurse practitioners work completely independently. Comparatively speaking, in Quebec, there are all kinds of restrictions on what nurse practitioners can prescribe, and they are even forbidden to diagnose. Nurse practitioners must work with a partner physician. We visited McGill University in Montreal and met their academic advisor for the primary care nurse practitioner program and one of Quebec's first nurse practitioners. Welcome to McGill University in Montreal and today we're looking at the issue of nurse practitioners and nurse-led clinics from the Canadian perspective and particularly from what's going on in Quebec and I'm uh, really pleased to be joined by Norma Ponzoni and Sophie Charlin who've been central to the development of the nurse practitioner role here in Montreal and Quebec. And I suppose the first question I have to ask, because everybody's looking around the world at us, um, is what the Canadian healthcare uh, structure is, how it all works, Norma. The Canadian healthcare structure is publicly funded. In 1984, uh, the uh, Canada Health Act was adopted, and since that, since that time, um, there are services uh, services are offered uh, universally, and uh, so it's based on needs and not ability to pay. So every Canadian has access to healthcare in Canada. Can you tell us, Norma, how nurse practitioners are prepared educationally? Sure. Um, that really varies from province to province in Canada. Um, Quebec being, uh, here in Quebec, the uh, nurse practitioner in primary care is um, prepared after a master's degree. So it's a diploma after the, after the master's degree. So it comes out to about 75 credits. Um, that's true of the majority of Canada, uh, with the exception being Ontario, which is trying to move in that direction now. The major um, difficulty in Quebec has really been funding uh, and that uh, has impacted the number significantly as Sophie had mentioned. There's 1,700 uh, nurse practitioners working in primary care in Ontario which is our, our um, neighboring province uh, compared with 66 in uh, Quebec uh, in primary care and in the medical specialties as Sophie had mentioned um, and the difference uh, the radical difference in number really comes down to, to funding. Um, in the last 15 years, Ontario has invested uh, hundreds of millions of dollars into that role. And in Quebec, uh, there's been very little funding until recently. Uh, about a few months ago now, the, um, our provincial government announced uh, funding for 500 nurse practitioner positions in Quebec. And so we're hoping that that's really going to make a difference uh, for nurse practitioner education in Quebec. Something I really wanted to ask you about, Sophie, was uh, what are the barriers that have been faced in Quebec in relation to this role? I must say that we had to face uh, a lot of challenges in making this role uh, real in Quebec. Uh, I had the chance to be involved in all the different committees to make this role recognized uh, in, in Quebec. And uh, we had to face uh, different challenges, uh, some funding uh, challenge, but also professional challenge, uh, making this role as uh, autonomous as possible. Uh, we have a lot of uh, barrier that was put in our regulation that is different from the rest of Canada. Uh, first of all, we're not allowed to diagnose uh, our patients. Which we're working with uh, clinical hypothesis, but we can diagnose a patient uh, anywhere else in, in Canada. Uh, also, for, for the practice, uh, we have uh, in our regulation, the, uh, we have no choice of having a, a physician's partner uh, in very close to us. We're not allowed to work on our own uh, and consult a physician. We have to have a, um, 
kind of a, a written uh, document that makes that uh, a reality. And uh, our regulated board is from the Collège des Médecins and the UNQ. So to make any change, uh, both head has to come together and make sure that it's fine with the physician and with the nurses. And I think it's not a secret that in Quebec our physician were uh, kind of against uh, seeing this role in in, uh, in Quebec. Uh, what they wanted uh, to see was mostly uh, having uh, nurses trained to assist them in their practice and not having nurses working in a very autonomous uh, role in, uh, in partnership. So we have to defend that and uh, we have to, to do a lot of represent representation to make sure that uh, we, we have our role and uh, personally I was uh, one of the first three nurse practitioners in, in Quebec and we all uh, came from the Ontario Education Program and we had to redo all our exams to make sure that uh, we could uh, work uh, in Quebec and uh, that was a challenge for a lot of nurse practitioners that would like to come in Quebec but the regulation is made in a way that you need to have a master level uh, of uh, education to be allowed to come and that you have to repass all the uh, Quebec exam that are, uh, as I said, uh, directed by the UNQ with the Order of Nurses, but also with the Collège des Médecins. And to change our regulation, we always have to address this with, with, with them, and they, they don't make uh, our life uh, very easy, I must say. So I suppose the question, I don't know if you can answer this, is what impact are nurse practitioners having on health care in your province? That's a difficult question for in Quebec because obviously we have very few nurse practitioners, but we can easily look at uh, data coming from, uh, you know, internationally to support the, the role of the NP. Uh, there's also, you know, um, there was a, a report on the news a few days ago where uh, patients were interviewed in a Sudbury clinic in Ontario and when they spoke to patients they reported, you know, being very sa satisfied with the services that were offered because uh, nurse practitioners had more time to spend with patients and, uh, and really were able to, you know, uh, explore many of their, their health issues and concerns. Okay, well that's all I want to ask. Can I thank you both very much for talking to us on nurseclinics.com? Thank you very much.